black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up, world? Welcome to a hoodie style, semi nature. Look like I'm supposed to be in nature. Crispy wing video. Just chef these up right in the oven here, but we're in the backyard again. It's kind of nature ish. We've got some yard and some neighbors and some lawn and stuff, but we have crispy wings. We stay strapped with many sauces. Uh, nappies, of course. Got some carrots I'm going to distribute. And uh, a nice cold Dr. P diet, as per usual. How are you guys? Hope you're doing all right. I'm doing great. Uh, I'm just gonna chat with you today, but we're gonna enjoy these wings. I haven't had, I feel like I haven't had wings, especially like my wings, how I do them, nice and crisp. In a good hot minute, in all honesty, as we watch this diet doctor, delicious, amazing fizz, put itself, well, I'm putting it there, but you know, Sacrifice itself to the ice gods for my sipping pleasure on this fine eve. It is Sunday. It is a Sunday eve. I haven't really eaten all day. We're just getting to a meal. And I look like both a Boy Scout, 12 year old tourist. Shout out this shirt and the hat. What's up? Check out my dad legs. Don't know if you can see them, but I got some dad legs going on. But anyways, okay. I'm excited and we got to eat. I'm starving. I'm Marvin. Listen, listen to these. Tell me you're not trying to have a bite of those. Anyways, we're going to pile them up. And try out this cluck cluck wing raging ranch in my estimate i think it's going to taste like a blackened ranch from popeyes i don't know what it tastes like but that's my oh way too much why has it got to do that to me we got the nando's peri peri medium probably just be easy on that now because I put way too much of that other sauce, so that's gonna dominate. And then, what's up? Reach out to me, brand. Reach out to me. I want to endorse you, Hidden Valley. Like, it's all I want to do with my life. I literally all I want to do is endorse Hidden Valley. Sack of carrots, and we gotta go in. Okay, crispy, crunchy wing. You guys know what it's about. Check it. Very intrigued to see. How this sauce is. Okay. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm interested in what you're selling. Okay. Very good, delicious, like actually really good. Just trying to figure out it, figure it out. It's kind of southwest. Like a Southwest Ranch. But like Popeyes, it does have... Sort of that blackened... A bit of that blackened ranch flavor. I can't lie. It's very good. I would definitely buy it again. 
or I'm definitely gonna keep using it. Mm -hmm. Man. Mm. I haven't had some crispy my style wings like I've had in a while. So as you guys know, I'm out here in my home city on my Northern Ontario tip. Shout out this hat. Went, uh, mm. damn, that Nando sauce is good. Went to Winners the other day. And, uh, I saw it there and I was like, I know I'm normally on like ball caps and beanies, but that's my color. First of all, I'm about that green. Second of all. The bugs in the sun out here are times a thousand. I need that protection. And third of all, that shit looks swaggy. Try it on. I thought it looked pretty good. A little bit funny. A little bit jokes. Very jokes with this t-shirt. Story behind said t-shirt is that man is that uh, I went to my grandma's today She's got a place out on the lake near my parents. So go to my grandma's and uh, we we're just chatting, hanging out, having a drink. My grandma's like super like cute and cool. She's like 80 three or something like that but she's like very up to date like very like active and you know she's still going strong where she comes out she's like I got you this t-shirt for going back to Toronto And I was like, I don't even know if I am, Grandma. She couldn't have been happier. Her eyes lit up. All she's ever wanted to have is to have her family around. And me and my sisters are her only grandchildren, so... Me and my one sister have lived away. I've lived away for 10 years. My other sister lived away 15. So, Grandma's stoked. Anyway, she gives me this tea. I'm like, Grandma. Actually, we call her Mama. I'm sorry, I have to do that because my nose is running from the heat. We call we don't call her Grandma. We call her Mama because my sister couldn't say the word, so she just said Mama, and that just stuck ever since. So 
I mean, this, I'm like, this tea is sick. It reminds me of like, a, it reminds me of book fair or something. Or like Northern Getaway. Let's just say true 90s aesthetic, true 90s vibe. And to match it up with the Mosquito Hunter, like... Shout out, shout out the Livestrong bracelet too. That's a whole thing. These wings are a little too on point right now. Come on. I'll get you later. They're just so good. So it's pretty much overcast right now. I don't know how much you guys can see, but it's natural light, so it probably should be pretty good. But yeah, my time here has been pretty awesome so far, if I'm honest. Still get into this YouTube content. Trying a couple different, different things. Just trying to get a little, a little different, a little weirder, a little creative. Trying to adapt to the situation and try to use it to benefit me. But yeah, it's nice to see old friends and get back hanging with like with family and stuff. My stepbrother weirdly got in got into food a lot. Like he was in the navy. He bought a house in Halifax. He had like a rental property in it. Da 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 moved back here got got out of the Navy still had his house over there for a while sold it made a bunch of money now he's weirdly into food a lot he wants to open a business so like I basically planned out like a like a menu and a concept and we just been talking trying to like hash out details and I have a few other people friends and stuff that are interested that have money that kind of want to be involved so like potentially opening up like a burger burger sandwiches and wings and crazy fries type dirty shop like we're not that far along but The idea is there, there's money there. We 
we just got to shop around and work out the logistics of it all. But like, it's weird. Universe pushes you in a weird direction, and then. All of a sudden, it's like, might end up doing the thing that you guys have always said. Like, you need your own. Own place where you sell your creations. Which now. Might actually end up being a thing. And if I do. end up doing this I want to YouTube and document the whole thing everything opening a business construction menu testing everything involved I personally think it would be insane to have had this channel, this journey, have all you guys saying that over these last like couple years and then have it like come to fruition and document it and have you guys like see the journey of it would be absolutely wild to me, but at the same time like so just so cool, like so true to myself, so true to just what has been said on this channel a long time, like for a long time running. So one door closes, another opens. If I sold these wings, I feel like I'd have no competition. Because <laughs> why are they so good? It'd be sick though if I had the Midas touch. And I actually sold some of my food and it went like crazy. And people loved it. And got truly successful in the food game with these crisp tips. Like, why do I. I want to pick and finish these bones. Normally I'd end the video there, but... That sauce was legitimately, legitimately pretty spicy and this man needs a carrot cool down. Hopefully this wing vid was pretty satisfying. I know that it's like kind of more far away. But in this scenario, it's just like the table height. I have to like crouch and the camera needs to be that far for me to even be in frame. So it is what it is. Working on getting another setup going. But I think this works pretty good. I love the Outdoor Vibe videos, to be honest. Feels awesome to my, just my 
soul energy and also it's just like natural light is so sick all right that was perfect so yeah that's life right now things are all good looking cool it's all going to work out for the best. I'm very lucky to have a good family and a, a great support system. And I'm very lucky to have you guys tuning in and watching and just staying loyal to the channel. So, um, yeah, just keep on keeping on. Keep checking in and viewing. And things are only going to get better, I promise you, from here. Really going to uh, try to keep stepping things up here. So... Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. Peace.